Hi guys, this is Duncan from dunksblog.com and as you can see outside, the weather's pretty nasty. This is probably the most likely time that a car is going to break down. Now, what happens when a car breaks down? You hear a crack, you hear a bang, or you see a check engine light on your dashboard. It's usually a yellow light, mine isn't on at the moment, but it's usually a yellow light that you need to check and you'll see that if you take it to a mechanic or a dealership and pay a heck of a lot of money, they'll just end up looking for a fault code, which they can then proceed to fix the car if there's an issue. What if you could find those fault codes yourself and do some research and get it done a lot cheaper, for example, going to eBay, buying the parts, or even being able to fix it yourself if there's a quick fix online? Well, you can. You can use something that's called an OBD2 scanner. Now, you can get ones that have a digital display which tell you the fault codes, but we're going to go a bit further than that and do some real-time monitoring of what's happening in the car. So this is an OBD2 Bluetooth scanner. I'll link this in the description on where you can get it from Amazon. It's very cheap, less than £10 or $10, whichever you're in, and uh, very easy to do. You see it looks very much like a USB dongle only with a dip different end to it. And uh, here is my little port that I need to plug it into, which I'll do right now. And uh, most of the cars have, uh, well, I think it's a legal requirement that they have to have it easily accessible. Let's make sure I get it the right way. Uh, it has to be accessible to people to get to, to uh, plug in the little adapter. So you see this now, it's got a red light on it and it's ready to go. Now, you now need something to read it. So here I have an application called Talk and it looks like it's almost ready to go. I've set a profile up for my car. You'll see that I have an ECU problem. That's uh, due to the fact that my car is made in 2000 and I believe OBD2 was fully supported in 2001 onwards, but it does read some of them for me, which is really good. Uh, mine's a Renault Clio 2000 model, but yeah. So as you can see, inside talk. Now they didn't send me this, I uh, bought it. I apologize for any reflections as well. Uh, because it's such good value and it's going to save so much money in the long run if there's an issue with my car. You'll see that it's got a little rev counter here that's not doing anything because the car's not on. I'll turn it on in just a second, but you see we've got real-time information, check those fault codes, we've got a map view, test results and graphing. Again, this is all done in real time. So, I'll go ahead quickly and start the car. You see the rev's quite low, but I'll then get my application or car, move it next to each other so you can see. So there's the rev counter. Now it's very slightly off because you'll see it started at 200. Uh, so it adds, a, adds it, but you can reset it. And I'll just rev the car a little bit and you'll see that it's doing it in line with me revving the car. You'll see it's a little bit of a delay because it is using Bluetooth. Now, it's not using the faster communication. I haven't set that up yet, but that will depend on the adapter you get. You can get more expensive adapters that will uh, allow you to communicate faster. Now this is on Android. You can get it on iOS too. Uh, you can use something called dash command. You can also get skins for this. So what I'm going to do now is just go to the real time information when it registers my touch. Let me try and click it. Come on. Come on. There we go. You see there's a lot more dials. I can dig really deep into what happens. You can see we've got MPG, Talk HP. We can also do things like lap times, 0 to 60, all this sort of stuff. You can see the horsepower of your car as you move along. You see you're still counting those revs. There's a lot of different ways you can display these two. So all of these widgets here can all show as uh, either dials or you can have them as graphs or you can um, have separate things too. You'll see I've got a bunch of things there. Uh, a lot of things you may not even understand is here because they're mostly designed for mechanics, but you really do get that real-time analysis of everything that's happening in the car. So again, if I rev it, you'll see a lot of the uh, the dials are changing a little bit now as I do things. So this is a great way to find out if you've got temperature issues in your car, if you've got any issues with anything. It uses the GPS in the phone, if you have a phone that does this, uh, as GPS information, accelerometer information to help give you more accurate data. You can have logs as you go along as you drive. You can also use it in a HUD mode, which allows you to record. Uh, you may see some of these on YouTube where they have these sorts of dials around while people are driving just to show you as they're driving what it's like. Uh, you might be able to search talk HUD or something like that, uh, HUD mode, heads up display, and uh, you'll be able to see as you drive along what, what the issue is with your car that you can just show to the mechanic or if you want to try and fix it yourself. Now I recommend subscribing to a guy called Eric the Car Guy if you're used or if you're, you think that it's useful for car repairs if you want to see how cars are repaired and he does have a database on his website too which sums up an easy fix for all of the well I wouldn't say easy fix but the best fix possible for all of the fault codes he's basically made a database of all of them to check them out but you'll see very nice an easy way you see how easy it is to add a display share screenshots a lot of car forums use this a lot of people who have this sort of stuff and know about cars 
do really recommend this app because the fact that you're just using a simple adapter that costs less than 10 pounds um, to read everything about your car and put it to your phone is a lot better than taking it to a mechanic and have him say one thing about your car and then you can actually clear codes too with this app um, and check out if there's any codes in the past that were on your car so if you just bought a car and you want to know if there's any issues that happened before you bought the car um, it's a great way to do that too so that pretty much sums up. This is Torque. Very, very, very good value. Uh, if you can get the adapter too, that's also very, very good value and it'll save you a lot of money in the long run. So thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, do the rest of it. And thanks again.